Hello everyone, I'm James Zhu from Pinstar. Today I will show you the one of our product for PBS UC200. You see, here we can see the label here UC200 Pinstar, and I will demonstrate a lot of things here. We first of all we have to see the you know the, the panel here front panel. You can see a lot of the, the there is a four port for FXO FXS. Here we can see this is for FXO, so make sure if you have FXO cable, for example, like this cable, okay, this is RG11 cable, can you see here, this RG11 cable, you can connect to RG11 cable to PSDN line, and uh, connect to service provider, okay, make sure this one, this cable, uh, FXO port, connect to your PSDN service provider, and uh, if you got the some, uh, for example, extension, physical extension or traditional phone FXS, you can use this and yeah, connect to the this one. Sorry, and this this is FXS. Okay, I, I think a lot of people should know this FXS phone already, a very traditional one, and you can plug in. That's all. You can connect to FXS already. So. Here we can see that if you got FXS, you also can, this port also got other FXS, you can maybe connect to fix machine or still got other extension you can plug in. And uh, this slot is for SD card. If you got uh, any external storage, you want to install the for example, voice file or some uh, email voice, other maybe data, if the system resource is not sufficient, Maybe you have to install the SD card here. Just to plug your SD card, install this into this slot. And this port is for one port. One port always means in, in, in the this uh, one port here, one port means uh, you have connect your company LAN. Okay, make sure this port is connected to your company LAN. Here we can say WAN and uh, connect to your company LAN. And then this part, the remote side connect to maybe the switch or hub that they connect to your network. Mm, this part is LAN port. The LAN port is you maybe used to connect your maybe the PC or personal computer to access the website. Uh, by the way, here the two ports by default there are two different IP addresses already. So please make sure you check our menu for the default IP address. It's different, quite different, okay? And this is a console port. You, if you've got any, any you know, access, want to check, uh, maybe the, from the console port, you can plug into your console cable to here and access the website, uh, your system, okay? This port is for USB. If you've got any USB device, you want to plug in, you can, yeah, yeah. Maybe SB, and maybe the uh, flash driver and so on you can install here. This is the reset button, the two reset button here. And this is the power supply, you, you, you got power supply. If you buy the device, we will send you the power supply as well. And uh, okay. This side, the back side, the, 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 the the back panel here is a lot of the, you know, the, the, the actually it's an indicator, you know, the, the light indicate the which part is working or not work. For example, here we have a PWR is for the power supply. If you got the power supply on, this light will be on, and uh, maybe the flash is running. This USB indication. This is the SD card. If you install the SD card, the system will automatically maybe. Detect your SD card and uh, uh, make the the, the indicator you know, uh, indicator maybe the flash or maybe change the stator depend what the stator you have. Here we got the four indicator is for the FXO FXS. Maybe if you uh, plug into FXO, maybe you, if you make a call, you uh, hang up the call, and then the indicator indicator will be changed based on your stator, maybe based your post data, okay? Okay, this is uh, the outlook and uh, 
Besides that, you can see here we got the we got the some you know barcode here. I mean, this this one is for a model it display the what kind of model it is and the mark dress. I think this mark dress is for web web port, okay. And this one for a serial number. If you got any problem or and you want to maybe got support or got the return back RMA during our warranty, maybe you can connect, consult or can contact our support. Uh, you have to provide the all stuffs. Okay, please make sure they keep it clear. Uh, keep it right. Okay, don't be lost. And beside this, we can see how the system works. Okay, here the this is the diagram. So the for example, if you go on PSDI line by default, you can tap for PSDI for FXO. Okay, just a plug FXO, then we can work. Of course, our UC100 and 200 and so on also can support a, a SIP or IMS. You also can use the SIP or IMS. Then yeah, maybe incoming call or going call. And you also use beside the FXS, you know, FXS. You also can use the SIP, for example, SIP extensions. We got a lot of the SIP phones in this stuff. You can choose any model you want. Then just the rest to our UC, you can make incoming call or going call and so on. All the process or color routing depends on your setting. Okay. This is our SIP phone. If you want to get the SIP phone support, you can check from our website, get different models here. Then you will buy maybe based your budget. Okay. This is a all stuff for the Insta UC two hundred. Maybe you can support other uh, other maybe the models. If you've got any problem, you can check our website and uh, uh, maybe check our user manual for the maybe IP address and so on. Thank you for watching.